Hi, I'm Lisa. I appreciate you taking the time to join me. Welcome. So it's time for another mini release over at Whimsy Stamps. In today's video, I'll be sharing a few of the new release products with you and creating these quick and simple cards with lots of layers. So Whimsy just released the Infinity Stencil and Slimline Lost in Space paper pack. And I really want to use these two products along with the Wait For Me stamp set. So lots of layers it is today. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is flip through the paper pack and pick out two papers. I'll be trimming these down to create a scene on my cards. And I have to say, Whimsy has the brightest colors of any pattern paper I've seen. I love how they create these bright, happy scenes in those paper packs. I'm just looking for something that has some blue, purple, and pink. And while I'm flipping through, I decide to grab this orange and green. I don't know what came over me with that because those are not colors that I normally gravitate to. But with that said, I do love the way the cards turned out. So I guess it was just meant to be. Now, if you haven't seen Whimsy's storage sleeves, this is a quick look at the slimline sleeves. I have a video I'll link at the end of this one that goes into full detail on those. And I'll be using the new Wait For Me stamp set and that infinity stencil. Now I'm gonna use my favorite low tack Scotch removable tape to temporarily hold my five and a half by eight and a half inch 80 pound white cardstock to the back of the infinity stencil. I'm using a blender brush and distress oxides for this. And I'm using, starting out with crackling campfire in the very center of the stencil. Once I have that covered, I'll move into carved pumpkin on the top and the bottom of that crackling campfire ink. And I'm going to finish the ink blending with twisted citron. Now notice how I'm lightly blending that twisted citron into the carved pumpkin. I don't want to end up with mud, so I'm being very light handed where the two colors meet. So let's do the reveal. My favorite part, I did a second panel off screen using the prize ribbon, wilted violet, and picked raspberry. Now off screen, I did all of the cutting for the panels. The stenciled panels are trimmed to three and three quarters of an inch by five inches. The pattern paper panels are two and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. I cut gold cardstock two each at four inches by five and a quarter inches and two each at two and a half by three and three quarters of an inch. Now I did the same thing for all the panels using plus the mirror cardstock for that blue version of this card. Now I have two orange card bases using glue. I'm layering the gold cardstock onto the orange card base. Then I'm going to come in with the stenciled panel, add that over the gold cardstock. And for the two smaller pieces, the gold and that pattern paper, I'll adhere those two together, but we're going to set these aside separately. I'm going to come in at the end of the video using mounting foam, we'll add that gold matted pattern paper to the card base. I'm going to repeat those same steps for the blue version of this card. We're going to put some white cardstock in our Misty. I've laid down anti-static powder and I'm, I'm stamping the UFO twice using VersaFine Claire Fallen Leaves ink. I'm going to add gold embossing powder to the lower part of the UFO. Now, if the embossing powder gets anywhere you don't want it, just take a small paintbrush and clean off those areas. I preheated my heat gun so I could come in and do some heat setting with that embossing powder. And we're going to repeat these steps using the VersaFine Claire Twilight ink and silver embossing powder for the blue version of this card. I'm going to quickly fussy cut these out with my scissors and I normally don't fussy cut but these images are pretty basic so I just went ahead and did it real quick. Now off screen I use those same VersaFine Claire inks Twilight and Fallen Leaves to stamp my sentiments from the Wait For Me stamp set onto white cardstock and I trim them down using my paper trimmer. 
I added mounting foam to the back of the gold matted pattern paper, and I'm going to go ahead and center these up on the card base. Remember, whatever we do for the orange and green cards, we're going to do for the blue version as well. Mounting foam to the back of the UFOs, and we'll adhere those along with our sentiments on the card. Now I finished these off with some sequins. Let me know what you think about the new products and lots of layer cards in the comments below. So be sure you click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on the fun. And for more information on the products you've seen in this video today, you can click the links directly below and head over to the Whimsy Stamps website to check them out. I really do appreciate you so much for taking time and visiting me today. Until next time, please take care.